briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1953, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Lober v. United States, revolving around estate taxes and trusts. At the center of the case was Morris Lober, who established three irrevocable trusts for his children while retaining control over their investments and income accumulation. After Lober's death, the Internal Revenue Commissioner included the value of these trusts in his estate tax, prompting a disagreement between lower courts. Initially, the Court of Claims ruled in favor of the commissioner, as Lober was deemed to have too much control over the trust property. However, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals had a different interpretation in a similar case, leading the Supreme Court to step in to resolve the conflict. Ultimately, the Supreme Court held that the trust property did not qualify for a tax exemption due to Lober's excessive control, and Lober's children lacked a present right to immediate enjoyment of income or principal. As a result, the value of the trusts was included in Lober's gross estate for estate tax purposes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.